Hey folks, welcome back to Kraken Packs, and today on the channel we're going to be opening a Rage of Raw Legendary Duelist Booster Box First Edition on the hunt for the Ghost Rare Wing Dragon of Raw. Let's see if we can get it. So today we're going to be opening Rage of Raw Legendary Duelist, and I have my good homie Thoinks in the chat who has actually pulled said Ghost Rare from a box that I had sold him last year or so, something like that. We also have the emotional support of Cypher and a bunch of other good folks here on the Twitch channel and the Kraken crew. So this is actually, maybe I've opened one other of these on my own. Can't quite remember. The set came out in 2019, 2020. So we also have Egyptian God Slime, as well as, I think there's one other Ultra, maybe the Genzo, that's pretty sweet. And yeah, we're just gonna go for it. So let's get out a pocket knife and stab the crap out of this box. All right. Thanks, dude. I've got your good luck running through my veins as we hunt for our ghost rare friend. Honestly, I think these boxes are pretty great. The fact that there is also an unlimited print run will over time, in my opinion, make finding high grades of the Winged Dragon of Raw in first edition a lot more challenging. Not to mention this card is difficult to grade. I think there is one. I think there's a population report of one PSA 10. All right. Bless thy box and do deem only the most fire of pools. We need the winged dragon of raw chant from the anime. The gods up there, the winged dragon gods. Are we going right or left? I'm thinking, I'm thinking right. Go right. All right. So Battle City is immediately what I think of when I start seeing these. Hey, Jinzo. Uh, whoa, double Jinzo pack? <laughs> okay, I was like, I don't know if you usually get double Jinzos starting off pretty strong uh, When the God cards came out originally and I was like 12 years old I remember we used to run around they had those uh, locator cards We would use top loaders <laughs> and be like I'll duel you for this amount and uh, I think like we've all had like fake God cards that we had printed out the actor slime and so you'd like duel one another and the winner would get like your best card which honestly I remember some of the kids actually had some pretty good stuff. Like, I remember one kid had a uh, Exodian Necros first edition, a Vampire Lord first edition. Oh, we got a Blaze Cannon. That was the other card I was thinking of. That was another uh, ultra rare, great card. And of course, that's the um, move that he used in the show. I like how over time they've implemented that as well into uh, a card game. I think first one was Ancient Sanctuary with Dark Magic Attack. As many of you fine folks know, I do this for a living. So even the bulk, everything has value here. Psychic Bounder. And beyond just money, I like, this set is pretty sweet. I might do a master set of this. If you folks would like to see that, go ahead and drop down in the comments. If you're curious about my store, go ahead and hit up the drum.me link in the description below and join our Discord where you can hang out and get 10% off anything from the Kraken Pack store. Gameless plug. Three Ghost Raw sounds expensive. It does, but I think they're around $200 right now. And now would be the time to get them. Mount of the Bound Creator also support for the God Cards because they are annoying to summon. I mean, in the show, they make it seem like it's easy. Kind of. When you have writers, you know. Oh, whoa, Jinso the Machine Menace. The Menace to Society. Everlasting Alloy. Yeah, this is awesome, dude. There's tons of Jinso support. What, is there four Ultras in this, these boxes? Yeah, every ghost comes scratch. So, Cypher up there, he is a fan of ghost rares. Uh, he knows all about dealing with scratched ghost rares, I'm sure. Mechlord Nucleus Infinity Core. Now, I'll be honest, I think Mechlord is 5Ds support. Is that correct? Is that an archetype from 5Ds? Yeah, and I think the Wing Dragon of Raw right now is pretty low in price because so many people keep trying to grade them. They either keep trying to grade them or they come out scratched and they're not worth grading. So supply and demand. You know what I'm saying? You guys trying to hold on to these boxes, make a little money on the shad in the future. Or open them. Make some sets and use them. <laughs> Whatever. Hoping that I actually can use these for a deck. A Jinzo deck would be pretty sweet. All right, so we're about to kill the right side of the box so far. No ghost rares, but we have Raw as a disciple. I'm gonna actually put him, every disciple that I'm gonna get, I'm gonna line them up right here so that they can help summon the ghost raw. Get a mech load, Emperor Rise, and an Everlasting Alloy. I believe the ghost rare is at the back of the pack. I don't know, Thoinks, do you remember that? 
Is that the back? I think it's at the back. Want a ghost DMG? Yeah, me too, man. Ghost from the past two is looking pretty, pretty tasty. <laughs> Cypher's like, I do know growth. I know a thing or two. Almost the last card. All right, so maybe it's in the slot before? Only one way to find out. We have to pull it. Monster Reborn on... Dude, we'll just use Monster Reborn on this box. Like, if I don't pull it, just bring it back. Or Reborn the Monster. That's the, the, the real fans. That's how they say it. Reborn the Monster. I wonder if that was like a continuity error. <laughs> like, that's what they thought the card was called. Or maybe like that is the actual legit Japanese translation. Or maybe they're just like, yeah, you, he's just going to say it like this. Wonder if they ever correct that later in the anime, like he starts saying Monster Reborn, but a Reborn comma the monster. That'd be sick if the boxes resealed themselves after you cracked the packs and the magic just kind of gave you random packs again, but sealed. Oh, that would be, that would be nice. Wizardry. Yeah, dude, like, come on guys. Everybody, what are you guys waiting for? Let's get some wizardry. We got Boon of the Mechlord Emperor, Mechlord, uh, Mechlord everything. We got Mechlord pancakes, Mechlord French toast, Mechlord cereal. Enzo holding arms, raw decibel. We're over onto the left side. A wild monster appears. It's pretty wild. Mechlord Astro, Mechlord Emperor, brain control. Sun God unification. So then the Sun God unify these cards off the screen for y'all. They've also been going ham on Whatnot, opening tons of ghosts from the past. If you guys don't know what Whatnot is, it's a live auction site where you, yes you, can get $10 for signing up. See, Thunks, you gotta go on there. Thunks is like any of luck over here. Go on there and pull like a... Someone will put up like a PSA 10 Dark Magician and be like... For some reason, it glitches and nobody bids except for Thunks. It's like $1 wins it takes it home Ooh, we got another blaze can weird okay so you can pull two of the same uh, all right they resealed it just to give us two blaze cannons must have been like some rare hunters or something chaos infinity metal reflect slime which actually is a great for a water deck like an umi deck back in the day yeah mech lord uh, astro the eradicator who names Yu-Gi-Oh cards I want that job mech lord Yuri Dago. Psychic Chakwe Law of the Cosmos. Another bound of the bound creator. So we need some more god support here. Getting down to the nitty gritty. We've got one more ultra rare coming up, but that's not what we're after. I mean, an Egyptian god slime would be nice. Paper box. A winged dragon of raw. Jinzo Lord. Mech Lord Army. I always read this of Weasel. Of the Weasel. Emperor of the Weasel. Ooh, and the true name with the dog tags of the pharaoh. So no Egyptian god slime. I think. I think we only get four. Star 36 count boxes. Got some more. Oh, we're going to put Raw's cycle right there. We're going to summon the winged dragon of Raw. Cyber energy shock. If we can get one more cycle in these packs, we're absolutely going to summon the winged dragon. Some dude named Bob is just like, yeah, man, this looks like a pot of greed. Dude, pot of greed looks like my cat. When he knows like he's about to be fed the back to the open mech lord fortress jinzo mech lord white arb so we're getting six ultras we're not out of the park yet we're not out of duelist kingdom yet we've got this at one two three or five it's got to be six it's usually an even number <sighs> i open a lot of packs this one i haven't opened a lot of I haven't cracked into these packs too much. Oh! Prophecy is true. A wild monster appears. What will be in the final pack? Final pack of Destiny, you guys. This box cost me $2 million. I had to refinance my home and my friends. We've got to pull the Winged Dragon of Raw. Well, that's a good sign. The card is scratched on the back. It's definitely a ghost rare. Holding Arms. Mechlord or Army of the Skittles. Mechlord Astro Maneki. Jinzo Returner and oh, Psychic Mega Cyber. All right, so five ultras. Oh, it hurts. No Egyptian God slime, no alternate art. My homie Jinzo, dude, he's doing all right. Two blaze cannons though, those are cool. That's a couple dollars each. I'll take it. I think overall, it wasn't a terrible box. Nostalgic, yes. Financially viable, maybe not. But maybe I'll start a play set or a master set of this. I'm um, just like my master set videos, which you can find here. I'm in the future when I film them. Other than that, I hope you folks have a great day. 
Until next time, keep cracking packs.